I'm Kim Kardashian West. I'm a mother, millionaire, law student, and billionaire. There are whispers in the air that Kim Kardashian's finances are in a precarious state. While her ex-husband Kanye West has just struck a lucrative deal with Adidas, demonstrating once again that he is always one step ahead of the game. The remaining stock of Yeezy Adidas products has an estimated value of $500 million, and reports suggest that Kanye has reached an agreement with the company to offload the remaining designs in the collection. Meanwhile, rumors abound about shady financial dealings on the part of the Kardashian-Jenner clan. The Sun newspaper recently revealed that the family has taken out over $132 million in home loans, despite their claims to be billionaires. Kim herself is reportedly responsible for $100 million of this debt, having taken out $48 million mortgage on her $70 million Malibu property in September. The Kardashians' association with controversy continues to linger. Apparently, that sleazy manager Lou Taylor, who made bank off of Britney Spears' conservatorship, was also trying to get Kanye West locked up in a psych ward, just like they did to Britney back in the day. And guess who's allegedly behind it all? Yep, you guessed it, Lou Taylor. But that's not even the craziest part. Rumor has it that Kim Kardashian is in some serious financial trouble, like broke AF. Word on the street is that she and her fam took out huge loans to build their property empire, and they're even mixed up in some shady money laundering schemes. Apparently, Kanye always knew about Kim's sketchy business dealings, which is why he kept his assets separate from hers during their marriage. I mean, this isn't the first time the Kardashians have been accused of dodgy financial behavior. Remember when Kim allegedly scammed people before she was even famous? And who could forget that lawsuit filed by Brandy Norwood's mom, accusing Kim of stealing money from her daughter? This family is always in the middle of some drama. Rumors are swirling that the Kardashian family is involved in multiple money laundering schemes, and Kanye West reportedly knew all about Kim's underhanded practices. In fact, he always kept his assets separate from hers during their marriage. But that's not all. It turns out that Kim has a history of scamming people out of their hard-earned cash. Before she was famous, she was accused of stealing over $120,000 from Brandy Norwood's mother, Sonia. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Recently, Brandy's brother, Ray J, claimed that Kim actually stole over $850,000 from his sister. In 2009, Kim got involved with a controversial Malaysian businessman and fugitive named Joe Lowe. Apparently, after a wild night of partying in Vegas, he even gave her a whole trash bag full of cash. I mean, what the actual heck? Now, fast forward to 2019 when the FBI started questioning Kim about her connection to Joe Lowe, and guess what? She actually admitted to receiving large amounts of money from him, including a hundred grand, right before her wedding to Chris Humphreys. But that's not all. She also received an additional $305,000 in cash. But wait, there's more. Kim and the Kardashian crew are also apparently connected to another controversial figure, Britney Spears' former business manager, Lou Taylor. You know, the one who convinced Britney's dad to put her under conservatorship back in 2008. According to Britney's lawyer, Lou made a whopping $18 million during Britney's conservatorship. And get this, Britney even paid for Lou and Jamie Spears to go on a lavish vacation to Israel, where Jamie got baptized in the River Jordan. And who do you think footed the bill for that little getaway? Yep, you guessed it, Britney herself. I mean, what the actual heck is going on here? This has raised questions about the extent of Taylor's influence in the Kardashian-Jenner family's business affairs. Some speculate that Taylor may have played a role in the family's decision to trademark their children's names and launch their own beauty and fashion brands. Furthermore, with Kim admitting to receiving large sums of money from Jolo, who was wanted in Malaysia for his alleged involvement in a multi-billion dollar money laundering scheme, some wonder if Taylor had a hand in these financial dealings as well. The connection between the Kardashians and Britney Spears' conservatorship has also caused a stir. With Lou Taylor profiting off of Britney's situation, some speculate that the Kardashians may have had a similar motive in their dealings with Taylor. 
all of this alleged shady behavior has led to speculation that the Kardashians may not be as successful as they claim to be. In fact, there have been reports that their reality show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, was actually losing money towards the end of its run. Some experts believe that the family may be on the decline, especially as they face more scrutiny over their business practices. The Kardashians have also been accused of developing an elaborate tax evasion scheme. Kris Jenner founded her own church called California Community Church, which is registered as a nonprofit charity. However, members of the church are asked to pay $1,000 a month and give 10% of their income as donations. It's no wonder people are speculating that this so-called church is just a way for the family to evade taxes. And as if that weren't enough, it seems that the Kardashian Jenners have also been accused of pretending to be much wealthier than they actually are. Forbes magazine famously exposed Kylie Jenner for faking her billionaire status, and the magazine alleged that Chris and Kylie had their accountant draft tax returns with false numbers to help juice Forbes' estimates of Kylie's earnings and net worth. That's some seriously shady business. But wait, there's more. It seems that the family has also been taking out massive loans to build property, and fans are speculating that this could be yet another money laundering scheme. Kim recently took out a $48 million mortgage on her $70 million Malibu property, and the family collectively borrowed a whopping $132 million. And get this, Kylie borrowed $7.5 million in April 2020 for a $36.5 million mansion, and the deal went through Lou Taylor. It's crazy to think that the Kardashians might be involved in all this shady business. Like, we always knew they were loaded, but faking tax returns and taking out massive loans? That's a whole new level of sketchy. And the fact that they're still doing business with Lou Taylor, the woman who profited off of Britney's conservatorship? Yikes. But the most disturbing part is that Kim allegedly tried to put Kanye under conservatorship too. Like, what kind of messed up power play is that? Thank goodness Kanye was smart enough to keep his money separate from Kim's, or he might have been trapped in the same situation as Britney. To think that Kanye might have dodged a bullet by keeping his money separate from Kim's? I mean, who knows what kind of shady business deals the Kardashians have been up to? Fans are calling for an investigation, and honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if there were some truths to these rumors. But back to the Kardashians. I have a feeling that things might not be looking so good for them financially. Reports are saying they're facing financial troubles, and with all these rumors swirling around, it's not a good look. I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the year, the Kardashians are viewed in utter disgust and broke, like one fan predicted. What do you think about all of this? Do you think there's a chance the Kardashians will actually be investigated, or is it all just hearsay? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more juicy celebrity news and gossip. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video.